This tutorial will show you how to build an AI agent investment advisor in less than 200 lines of code. This AI investment advisor takes in a user's financial profile and outputs a personalized investment plan that is tailored to their goals, risk tolerance, economic conditions, and retirement timeline. It's powered by a team of coordinated AI agents, each handling a key task, such as analyzing the user's financial situation, understanding the current macroeconomic climate, and constructing a personalized portfolio strategy and allocation. So what makes this different from just asking ChatGPT to draft an investment or wealth management plan? It comes down to structure, specialization, and control. When you prompt ChatGPT, you're relying on a single general purpose model to do everything at once, such as interpreting the user's financial situation, understanding the economy, planning investments, and personalizing recommendations, all in a single pass. That works okay for simple outputs, but real investment decisions are layered. An agentic workflow solves this by assigning each of those questions to a specialized agent. Then it routes, updates, and coordinates those agents through a shared memory, which we'll refer to as a state. It's doing more than just generating output, but rather it's reasoning through a thought process, adapting to real inputs, and producing a recommendation that actually makes sense for the user. To accomplish this, we'll be using Langgraph, a Python framework that makes it easy to structure and visualize agentic workflows. In the first module, we'll cover the basics of Langgraph and build a simple agent that routes between two personalized responses, depending on the user's input. It's a small example, but it lays the foundation for understanding agentic reasoning, routing, and state-based decision-making. In the second module, we'll turn that structure into a complete investment advisor, capable of research, analysis, and portfolio planning through a team of agents. Let's start with a few fundamentals of Langgraph. At its core, Langgraph is built around a graph-based architecture where you define nodes, edges, and the flow of information between them. Each box you see here is a node. They represent a single step or decision in your agent's workflow, like analyzing a message, responding to a user, or choosing a path forward. The arrows connecting the nodes are called edges. They define how the workflow moves from one step to the next. The dashed arrows are called conditional edges, which are paths taken only when specific conditions are met. And that brings us to a key concept, state. State is the shared memory that carries information through the graph. As the agent moves from one node to another, the state gets updated, and those updates influence what happens next. In this example, the workflow begins with a message. And based on what that message contains, the system decides which path to take. The state holds that information, and it guides the flow. If it detects investor, it follows one branch. If it sees trader, it follows another. The decision is made dynamically and in real time based on context. This kind of decision making is called routing, and it's a key feature of agentic workflows. It lets your agents adapt their behavior based on the situation rather than following a fixed script. This combination of nodes, edges, and evolving state based on different routes is what makes Langgraph so powerful. It lets you control how agents think and adapt with logic you can see and workflows you can shape. Begin by creating a new virtual or conda environment with Python version 3.10 in your terminal or command prompt. Then use pip to install the following packages, Langgraph, Langchain, Langchain OpenAI, OpenAI, IPython, and IPyKernel. We can now shift to a Jupyter Notebook and start coding. We'll first import the necessary modules. From Langgraph Graph, we'll bring in State Graph and End, which are essential for creating the workflow and defining where it finishes. We'll also import Typed Dictionary from Python's Typing module. This lets us create a structured state, which is how Langgraph shares information between nodes. Next, we define the state class. This is a typed dictionary that carries information throughout the workflow. In this case, the state just has one key, message. It's a simple text input from the user, something like hello investor or hello trader, and we'll use that to guide which path the agent takes. We can now define our nodes, starting with the router. The router is the decision maker and it takes in the current state, in this case, basic state, 
and determines which branch of the graph to follow based on the message. It uses a simple if-else-if -if condition to check the content of the message. If the message includes the word investor, it returns the node name hello investor, which tells the graph where to go next. If it sees trader, it routes to hello trader. If neither is found, it raises an error, which is helpful for catching unexpected input. Now let's look at the two destination nodes, hello investor and hello trader. Just like the router node, these nodes take in the state and return an updated version of the state by appending a personalized response to the original message. Hello investor will add, you're a valued investor, welcome aboard. Hello trader will add, ready to trade, let's go. Both nodes print out a message so we can track what's happening in real time, and they return the updated state with the final message string. These are basic examples, but the structure is powerful. Every node takes in the current state, does something useful, and passes along an updated version. Next, we'll create a simple pass-through node, which doesn't modify the state. It just returns it as is. This is useful when we want to use a node as a router without doing any processing in that step. Now we're ready to build the graph, which means defining how our agent moves through each step in the workflow. We start by creating a state graph object using our basic state definition. A state graph is the core structure in LangGraph. It represents your full agentic workflow. It holds all the nodes, edges, routing logic, and defines how state moves through the system from beginning to end. Then we add our nodes. We begin with the router node, which uses the pass-through function we just defined. Then we add the destination nodes, one for the investor message and one for the trader. After that, we define how the graph should route between them. We use add conditional edges on the router node and pass in our route from input function, which makes a real-time decision about which node to go to next based on the state. We connect each destination node to end, which marks the end of the graph path. And finally, we set router as the entry point where the graph will begin and compile everything to make it executable. We can now finalize the graph with the compile method and test out different inputs using the invoke method. If we input hello investor, we'll get the investor response. If we input hello trader, we'll get the trader response. And if we enter something like hello broker, the graph will raise an error based on the earlier instructions. What we've built is a simple but fully functional agentic workflow, one that routes behavior dynamically based on context stored in state. In Jupyter Notebooks, you can view a diagram of the agentic graph by running the state graph object after the compiled method is initiated. All right, so now that we've covered the basics of LangGraph, we can shift into building something more powerful. We'll build the AI Agent Investment Advisor to be a system that doesn't just respond, but understands the user's goals, adapts to market and macroeconomic contexts, and builds a personalized investment strategy. Let's take a quick look at how the workflow is structured. It starts by processing the user's financial profile and planning the research approach. From there, the system checks the user's chosen scope, whether they want a basic or comprehensive plan. If basic, the graph moves directly into portfolio construction. If comprehensive, the graph branches into two parallel agents. One fetches market data, the other analyzes macroeconomic trends. These paths then converge to build a personalized portfolio and final proposal. Now let's look at how to build this step-by-step. Step. We've added a few new imports to support our full agent workflow, which includes OpenAI API access and a more detailed state structure. We next set an OpenAI API key and load it into the environment. This is followed by configuring the LLM using chat OpenAI, for which we'll bind a tool called Web Search Preview that connects the GPT-40 model to the internet using OpenAI's responses API. At this point, you'll also notice the investor state class is now more complex. It includes two types of fields. First, inputs from the user, like age, income, net worth, goals, and risk tolerance. These are used to build the user profile. And second, outputs from each agent, including the profile summary, research plan, market data, macro analysis, portfolio, and final proposal. Each of these gets updated as the graph moves from one agent to the next. 
and that evolving state is what powers the entire workflow. Just like in our earlier example, we define a function to represent each node in our agent workflow. This first one, Analyze Investor Profile, is responsible for ingesting and interpreting the user's financial input. It takes in the shared state and uses Python F strings to dynamically pull in values like state age, state net worth, and so on to build a structured prompt. That prompt is passed to the invoke method of our language model, which returns a summary of the investor's financial profile and risk tolerance. We then write that result back into the state under the profile key. That way, future agents can use this context without needing to reprocess earlier steps. Next, we define the rest of our agent nodes, which all follow the same pattern. Take in the state, construct a prompt, run the invoke method, and update the state with new information. Plan Research uses the investor profile to suggest where deeper investment research is needed. Then we have two agents that run in parallel. Fetch market data polls in current trends, while Analyze Macro summarizes macroeconomic conditions. These are optional based on whether the user selected a basic or comprehensive analysis. That decision is handled by route based on scope, a simple function that checks the scope value in the state and dynamically routes the workflow. If the user wants a comprehensive plan, both market and macro agents run before continuing. Otherwise, we jump straight to build portfolio, which combines all the available information to generate a custom portfolio strategy. Finally, Generate Proposal finalizes the full investment plan. All right, so it's time to build the graph. We start by creating the state graph object using investor state as the schema. Then we add our nodes, each one corresponding to a specific agent in the workflow, and then define the edges that connect them. We'll place a conditional edge after plan research that routes based on the scope, either into the full analysis path or straight to portfolio construction. This edge is something we haven't yet covered in this tutorial. It waits for both the fetch market data and analyze macro nodes to finish before moving to build portfolio. Finally, we compile the graph, and in the next cell, we'll render it as a diagram to see the structure visually. We'll now test our investment advisor agent using a sample investor profile. Let's say we have a 45-year-old senior business analyst earning $140,000 a year with a net worth of $500,000. They're aiming to retire at age 66, have two kids, and describe their risk tolerance as moderate. Since we want a full detailed report, we'll set the scope to comprehensive. We pass this profile into the invoke method of our compiled graph, and it runs through the entire workflow, triggering each agent node in sequence. Once complete, we can print out the results step by step. Your results will depend on the specificity of your prompts and the model you choose. The system is fully customizable, so you can tailor it to reflect your own investing strategy or research approach. But remember that LLMs are still experimental. They can surface valuable insights, but they also make mistakes. It's important to always do your own due diligence. And this is an educational demo, not financial or investing advice. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on how to leverage the latest AI models and tools.